Hi guys, if I'm audible and visible, please send your thumbs up in the chat box. I'm audible and visible. Okay. Thanks, I'm on Lari. So, Aspire Next 23 course, it will be launched today by Unacademy. And the duration of this course is 9 months. It's an ultimate comprehensive batch for Next. The Aspire Next 23 is ultimate comprehensive batch in which there is solid foundation for Next exam aspirants. And this batch includes exhaustive syllabus coverage including theory as well as high yield practice questions. Apart from high yield practice question, there will be clinical integration of subjects also. Now see the content, there will be detailed theory explanation, practice questions along with clinical integration of all 19 subjects for next aspirants and it will be covered by all educators of an academy. What are the batch features? So here, there will be comprehensive full syllabus coverage of all 19 subjects exhaustive theory coverage along with practice questions. There will be grand test, mixed test and more high yield questions and there will be mentorship and guidance by the best faculties of NEET PG. So the faculties are Dr. Shanmuk Priya, Dr. Hitesh Nathani for anesthesia, Dr. Bhumika for ophthalmology, Dr. Puneet Bhojani for ops and gyne, Dr. Sanjay Khatri for pediatrics, Dr. Nikita for Radiology and Forensic Medicine, Dr. Resham Vasani for Dermatology, Dr. Dilip for Medicine and Dr. Ankit Khandelwal for Anatomy. Dr. Neha Taneja will be taking care of PSM, Dr. Siraj for Pharma, Dr. Preeti Sharma Pathology and Microbiology, Dr. Vaishnavi ENT, Dr. Sandeep Goel Psychiatry, Dr. Mukul Mohindra Orthopedics, Dr. Reena Kaur Physiology, and myself, obviously, I'll be taking care of the whole surgery. So how do I practice questions? Here, there will be topic-wise test, and there will be mixed back test series, there will be grand test series, and NEET PG INI subject-wise test series. So you can opt any one. Now the, now the batch schedule will be, in month of Feb, anatomy will be covered, in month of March, physiology, psychiatry, ENT will be covered, in April, Biochemistry, Orthopedics and Dermatology will be covered. Surgery, Aftha, Pediatrics and Pathology, all these subjects will be covered in May. Ops and Gyne, Microbiology in June and PSM in July. Pharmacology, Medicine in August, FMT in September, Radiology and Anesthesia, Short Subjects in October. The test series name, they will be a topic wise test series and mixed bag test series. Topic-wise test, test series will be conducted on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday at 6 p.m. And mixed bag test series on Thursday, 6 p.m. Okay, Muhammad Suleiman, thank you. I love you too. So why an academy you have to choose? Because there will be live as well as non-live classes. There will be PDF notes available. We will be having a doubt clarification session also. There will be clinical integration of subjects. You can raise your hand also ask the question and they'll, there are test and Q banks. So download the Unacademy app. It is available on both App Store and iOS and Google Play Store. Let's crack it. Now let's start the 50 most important questions image based questions which we are expecting in NEET PG, okay? These are one liner questions, okay? So you have to tell me the diagnosis, straightforward. Tell me the diagnosis. See the image and tell me the diagnosis. I'm looking for your reply. Tell me. Deepan, Deepti, Soumya, Bharad, Ayman, Lari, tell me the diagnosis. Tell me guys, I'm waiting for your reply. Here you can see that there is inflammation of breast and on just giving the incision, what you can see the pus coming out. Tell me the diagnosis. Deepan, you are correct, it is abscess. So what is the diagnosis? This is breast abscess and breast abscess, it is treated by IND, most common organism responsible, Staph aureus. And what is the first line agent? First line agent, tell me. 
ऑप्शन गायनी डॉक्टर पुनीत भोजानी एंड पैथोलॉजी डॉक्टर प्रीति शर्मा ऑब्वियसली क्लॉक्सासिलिन और डाइक्लॉक्सासिलिन वी विल गिव क्लॉक्सासिलिन और डाइक्लॉक्सासिलिन नाउ सी दिस इमेज गाइस एंड टेल मी व्हाट्स द डायग्नोसिस व्हाट इज द डायग्नोसिस मोहम्मद सुलेमान यू आर करेक्ट सी दिस इमेज व्हाट इज द डायग्नोसिस यू कैन सी हियर निपल टेल मी व्हाट इज द डायग्नोसिस यस वेटिंग फॉर योर रिप्लाई कार्सिनोमा ब्रेस्ट प्यूटी ऑरेंज what nipple is retracted next question the pud orange it is because of involvement of pud orange it is because of involvement of which lymphatics pud orange it is because of involvement of which lymphatics tell me guys jolly harshit mantri ankur pande deepan involvement of <coughs> not skin <coughs> no 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 <coughs> elsa correct subdermal what subdermal what there is involvement of subdermal what guys tell me <coughs> subdermal what there is involvement of subdermal lymphatics first person to reply correctly muhammad suleiman it is involvement of subdermal lymphatics this is because of involvement of subdermal lymphatics not lymph node very bad now tell me what is the diagnosis look at this and tell me diagnosis Deepan <coughs> Ankur Pandey Ashwarya Barad what is the diagnosis here tell me tell me guys what is the diagnosis simple question <coughs> here you can see there is superficial thrombophlebitis of infra mammary vein what is this it was asked many times in neat pg superficial thrombophlebitis of infra mammary vein what is this Yes guys this is Maunder's disease what is this this is Maunder's disease what is Maunder's disease this is superficial thrombophlebitis of infra mammary vein lateral thoracic and thorapo epigastric which veins are involved here it is because of involvement of lateral thoracic and thoraco epigastric thoraco epigastric clear very good madhu shekhar very good you are correct it is Maunder's disease Now tell me what is the diagnosis here <coughs> Can you see affected breast is massively enlarged what is the diagnosis These are the 50 image based questions we are going to expect at least 3 to 4 or at least 5 from these images We are expecting at least 5 images image based question Philod's tumor very good Ashwarya Philod's tumor Philod's So tell me what is the treatment of choice of this Philod's tumor This is Philod's tumor What is the treatment of choice <clears throat> tell me guys treatment of choice it is mrm or simple mastectomy ankur pande elsa you are correct it is mrm or simple mastectomy mohsin baba salman habib your drug of choice harshit mantri all of you are correct it is treated by simple mastectomy it is treated by simple mastectomy very good now see this question This is FNAC finding. What is the diagnosis? Which malignancy? <coughs> Tell me what is the diagnosis? Which is malignancy? Which malignancy? What is this appearance? Very good. Deepan, first person to reply. Deepan, Jolly Garg, Mohsin Baba, Salman Habib. This is papillary carcinoma thyroid, and you can see that. optically clear nuclei is there optically clear this is also known as orphan any i nuclei this is also known as orphan any i nuclei clear so orphan any i nuclei it is seen in papillary carcinoma thyroid clear guys next tell me what is the diagnosis here <coughs> ankur pande you are correct harshit mantri you are correct tell me the diagnosis guys waiting for your reply ankur mohsin madhu shekhar tell me the diagnosis thyroglossal cyst first person to reply madhu shekhar this is thyroglossal cyst very good now you tell me what is the most common location of thyroglossal cyst all of you are correct most common location of thyroglossal cyst where exactly most common location <clears throat> deepan you are correct the name of surgery it is cyst trunk operation 
I'm asking most common location. Subhyoid. Let's see Uma Maheshwari. Uma Maheshwari, you are correct. Most common location. It is subhyoid. This is subhyoid. Clear? Very good. Next. Can you tell me what is the diagnosis? This is ultrasound feature. This is ultrasound images. What is the diagnosis? <coughs> the doctor, tell me. Aishwarya Yadav. What is the diagnosis here? This is ultrasound image of the liver. Hydrated cyst. Very good. Salman Habib. This is water lily sign. Very good. You are correct. This is water lily sign. Water lily sign. Water snake sign. This is seen in hydrated cyst. It is seen in hydrated cyst. Very good guys. Now tell me. <coughs> what is hot nodule? Whenever maximum amount of radioactive iodine is being taken by one nodule. So one nodule which is having higher uptake as compared to surrounding tissue that is hot. And if one nodule is having relatively lesser uptake as compared to surrounding thyroid tissue this is cold. And you can see this is normal thyroid scan. This is also known as radioactive iodine scan. Normal thyroid scan which is also known as radioactive iodine scan. So nowadays they are asking image based question. Hot nodule, cold nodule, normal thyroid scan. <coughs> Tell me, what is the diagnosis? What is the name of this sign? This is ultrasound of gallbladder. Tell me guys. Waiting for your reply. What is the diagnosis here? Tell me. <coughs> this is ultrasound image of gallbladder. What is the name of this sign? It was asked many times. Adenomyomatosis is the diagnosis. It's written. Very good. Snake, comet tail. No, no, it's not Mercedes Benz. Comet tail artifacts. Very good. What is the other sign? You can tell me it is looking like what? Most of the girls are waiting for this on Valentine's Day. Diamond ring. Salman Habib, you are correct. Ashwara Yadav, you are correct. It is diamond ring sign. Can you see here? These are the crystal. So this is diamond ring. This is diamond ring sign. It is also known as comet tail artifacts. This is also known as comet tail artifacts. Clear? It is seen in which condition? Adenomyomatosis. Okay? Now tell me guys, what is the diagnosis here? This is X-ray. On this X-ray you can see something. And this is the CT. On this CT you can see something. What is the diagnosis? Madhu Shekhar, tell me. Tell me Madhu Shekhar. Jis Medicos, Ayman Lari, Salman Habib, your drug of choice. No, no, it is not simple cyst, very bad. You can see some calcification. Whitish thing is calcification. Guys, <coughs> very good, SNE and SNEJ, very good SNEJ. This is porcelain gallbladder, Uma, Ankuriti, Ankuriti Gupta. All of you are correct. Can you see here? It is calcified gallbladder. This is calcified gallbladder and this is also known as what porcelain gallbladder this is calcified gallbladder also known as porcelain gallbladder here also on ct you can see this is calcified gallbladder so this is porcelain gallbladder or calcified gallbladder clear guys <coughs> very important now this image was asked many times what's the name of this gallbladder <coughs> this is the gallbladder specimen tell me guys what is the diagnosis here <coughs> Simple question. Many times this was asked in exam. Strawberry. Mohsin Baba. You are correct. This is strawberry gallbladder. You can see there is gallbladder and strawberry is also here. Strawberry gallbladder. It is because of deposition of cholesterol esters. So tell me, strawberry gallbladder, it is associated with which gallstone? Simple question. Kavita Devraj. Strawberry gallbladder, it is associated with which type of gallstone? <coughs> Which type of gallstone? Simple question. Waiting for your reply. It is associated with which type of gallstone? Jolly Garg, you are correct. Salman Habib, Barad, cholesterol. It is cholesterol gallstone. Very good. Next question. It is associated with which type of polyp? Which polyp? It is associated with cholesterol polyp and patient is suffering from hypercholesterolemia. Simple. Now see this question. <coughs> On MRCP, you can see one, two, three stones. And 
on ERCP you can see these multiple stones ok. So for CBD stone tell me which one is investigation of choice MRCP or ERCP waiting for your reply which one is investigation of choice MRCP or ERCP investigation of choice tell me guys investigation Uma Maheshwari you are correct Salman Habib Ankuriti Gupta majority of you are correct MRCP it is investigation of choice ERCP it is gold standard question why ERCP is gold standard because it is diagnostic and therapeutic clear guys so MRCP investigation of choice gold standard is ERCP now tell me what is this sign and it is seen in which condition <clears throat> this is Cullen sign here you can see echimosis around umbilicus gray turner sign echimosis around flank echimosis around umbilicus echimosis around flank in which condition it is seen acute pancreatitis very good whenever there is hemorrhagic pancreatitis let me see see SNEJ SNEJ is the person who is replying correctly for most of the questions very good and Salman Habib you are also replying very nice so what happens this is Cullen sign whenever there is retroperitoneal hemorrhage there is bleeding along facial planes Cullen sign Gray Turner sign very good now tell me the diagnosis here this is CCT <coughs> let me see who is the intelligent person here <coughs> what is the diagnosis here simple question tell me this is CCT what is the diagnosis let me see who is going to reply very good Medha Jain first person to reply correctly Medha Jain Sandeep Sarkar very good Jolly Garg Hopium all of you are correct you can see here this part it is stomach this is what spleen this is right kidney this one is right kidney this part is liver and this is cyst this is pseudo cyst so this is pseudo cyst pseudo cyst very good very good Jesse Medicos correct now tell me what is the diagnosis this is barium swallow tell me guys what is the diagnosis <coughs> let me see who is going to reply simple question very good hopium Bibin Bibin Chinnayan first person to reply Mohsin Baba Uma Maheshwari hopium very good all of you are correct this is Zenkers diverticulum Zenkers diverticulum can anybody tell me what is the most common symptom of Zenkers diverticulum Zenkers diverticulum is false diverticulum most common esophageal diverticulum tell me most common symptom let me see who is an intelligent and genius person here most common symptom of Zenkers diverticulum tell me it's not halitosis guys yes Mad Madhu Madhu Shekhar very good Madhu Shekhar it is dysphagia why you can see you can see that this is the <coughs> here you can see this is the diverticulum it is compressing or causing compression of esophagus that's why the most common symptom it is dysphagia most common symptom of Zenkers diverticulum that is dysphagia very good Ashwarya correct now this is what bird beak or rat tail appearance seen in achalasia cardia bird beak or rat tail appearance this is seen in achalasia cardia clear rat tail filling defects it is seen in carcinoma esophagus rat tail filling defects next question <clears throat> see this tell me where is the coin the child has ingestion of coin where is this coin foreign body what is the location it is trachea or esophagus <clears throat> let me see who is going to reply correctly yes Neha Rani Madhu Shekhar Puja all of you are correct this is located in esophagus now you can see this is PA view this is lateral view on PA view which aspect of coin is seen you can see flat surface and on lateral view you can see the edge but in trachea on PA view you can see edge and on lateral view you can see the flat surface I am telling you this question will be asked in neat PG because from the last three years continuously this question is asked ok very good guys now tell me in which condition this sign is seen corkscrew appearance rosary bead appearance pseudo diverticular appearance let me tell let me see who is going to reply first <coughs> yes Sandeep Sarkar very good Sandeep Sarkar you are correct very good this is diffuse esophageal spasm so this is diffuse esophageal spasm 
in this there is corkscrew rosary bead or pseudo diverticular appearance very good guys now see this can you tell me what is the diagnosis let me see the intelligent person who is going to reply yes very good medico medico jolly gurg very good congenital diaphragmatic hernia very good now can you tell me guys what is the content here in the first image what is the content in the second image what is the content in the first image first tell me what is the content in first image what is the content Con content of this congenital diaphragmatic hernia content mohsin baba first person to reply correctly very good mohsin baba this is small intestine what you can see multiple dilated bowel loops in the left hemithorax now tell me what is the content in the second image second image harshit hopium sandeep sarkar <coughs> anupriya saraswat you are correct anupriya meet patel you are also correct in the second it is jejunum it is stomach because you can see there is coiling of rail's tube and the coiling of rail's tube occurs in stomach clear so the second is stomach first is small intestine tell me what is the diagnosis <clears throat> this is upper gi endoscopy image we are going to expect this image in the exam <clears throat> bibin chinnayan first person to reply correctly barrett's very good so what you can see you can see that there is red velvety mucosa tongue like projection which is having red velvety mucosa and this is pale mucosa pale is squamous pale is squamous and this red velvety mucosa this is columnar so what kind of metaplasia is seen in barrett's esophagus tell me in barrett's esophagus what kind of metaplasia is seen tell me guys it is gastric metaplasia or intestinal aishwarya yadav very good aishwarya you are correct it is intestinal metaplasia so what kind of metaplasia this is intestinal metaplasia this is intestinal metaplasia clear guys next question <clears throat> tell me what is the diagnosis here mohsin baba you are correct neha rani haritha sneji you are correct what is the diagnosis here this is barium swallow medha jain very bad very bad very bad i told you this is barium swallow you can see this is barium swallow carcinoma esophagus apple core appearance on barium enema is seen in carcinoma colon this is barium swallow and this is what carcinoma esophagus so this is apple core appearance on barium swallow it is seen in carcinoma esophagus apple core appearance on barium enema apple core appearance on barium enema that is seen in carcinoma colon next tell me what is the diagnosis small bowel obstruction clear here you can see multiple dilated bowel loops placed centrally narrow in caliber now tell me guys which part of bowel is this this is jejunum or ileum <coughs> jolly gurg priya raj you are correct this is jejunum or ileum tell me which bowel loop is very easy to understand sneje sneje sandeep sarkar neha rani medha jain meet patel all of you are correct why because there is circumferential ring like pattern since there is circumferential ring like pattern this is also known as valvuli conventus and this valvuli conventus it is seen in jejunum so this is small bowel obstruction <clears throat> next this is large bowel obstruction can you tell me what is this appearance what is this pattern on upright view obstruction what is this pattern step ladder priya raj you are correct step ladder pattern and see this is large bowel obstruction because you here you can see yes wider in caliber bowel loop placed peripherally and there is presence of hostrations presence of hostrations this is large bowel obstruction very good now tell me guys what is the name of this appearance this is coffee bean it is also known as what is the name of this appearance coffee bean sign also known as there are two other signs hidden sigmoid valvulus it's correct it's written what is the name of this sign and what is the name of this sign there is coffee bean sign apart bent inner tube swatantra varma very good swatantra and meet patel very good 
omega sign so this is omega and this is bent inner tube sigmoid volvulus frequently asked question now tell me what is this sign what is this sign <coughs> tell me guys what is this sign Jolly Gurg wants to ask how to differentiate from cecal volvulus. Uma Maheshwari, this is cecal volvulus. So in cecal volvulus, what is the name of this sign? This is kidney bean sign. This is known as kidney bean sign. <clears throat> it is, there is all another sign, comma shaped cecum. Another sign is, there is comma shaped cecum. Clear? So, you can see here, there is coffee bean sign in sigmoid volvulus, kidney bean sign in cecal volvulus. Now, tell me guys, what is this? Claw sign. <clears throat> you can see here, see the image. This is claw sign. Almost every year this question is asked. And it is seen in which condition? Into susception. This is which image? This is barium enema. So, this is the bowel loop where into susception is there. Clear? Claw sign. There is another sign on barium minima. Can you tell me? Apart from claw sign, which sign is seen on barium minima? Muhammad, Suleiman, Madhu Shekhar, Ayman, Lari. Tell me. Another sign apart from this claw sign on barium minima. Simple question. Tell me guys. Quiet spring. Very good. Jolly Garg, Bibin, Ankuriti, Roy, Matthew, Sandeep, Swatantra, Verma, Mohsin, Baba. There is Coiled spring sign. What is the diagnosis here? This is barium minima. Tell me guys, what is the diagnosis? What is the diagnosis here? Tell me. All these are the questions which are asked frequently in need PG. Diverticulosis. Very good, Bibin. Diverticulosis. What is the name of this sign? Tell me the name of this sign. What is the name of this sign? <coughs> what is the name of the sign? This is diverticulosis. It is not Crohn's. Name of this sign, tell me. What is the name of this sign? Sawtooth appearance, very good. This is known as sawtooth. Sawtooth appearance, seen in colonic diverticulosis. Very good. Next, tell me, this is first, this is second. What is the diagnosis of first one? <coughs> first. What is the diagnosis? First, Medha Jain, you are correct, Omphalocele. All of you are correct, Omphalocele, very good. What is the diagnosis of second one? Gastroschisis. So, first, it is Omphalocele. Omphalocele. Second, this is Gastroschisis. Gastroschisis, very good, guys. Next, tell me, <clears throat> what is the name of this crystal? This is envelope shaped or bipyramidal. In envelope shaped or bipyramidal crystal, it is seen in calcium oxalate dihydrate. It is seen in calcium oxalate dihydrate. I am telling you, there are chances that this crystal will be asked in exam. Calcium oxalate dihydrate. Okay. All of you are correct. Very good. Now tell me guys, this one. What is this crystal? Crystal. Coffin lid. This is coffin lid crystal and you know, it is seen in triple phosphate or staghorn calculi coffin lid crystal seen in triple phosphate or staghorn calculi very good triple phosphate or staghorn now tell me what is the diagnosis here this was asked in many entrance exams in pathology and there is this image also which is given let me see who is the brilliant person over here putti kidney very good angelina saker jolly garg all of you are correct can you see, kidney is filled with cheesy material. This is putti kidney. Kidney is filled with cheesy material. This is known as putti kidney. Here, you can see that kidney is calcified. This is known as cement kidney. Calcified kidney, this is known as cement kidney. And all of you know, after calcification, kidney loses its function. Non-functioning calcified kidney, this is known as autonephrectomy. Tuberculosis, all of you are correct. Very good, guys. Very good. All of you are correct. Now, can you tell me what is the diagnosis? Let me see. 
This is a repeat question of need PG. What is the diagnosis? Let me see who is the intelligent person over here. <clears throat> Tell me guys, what is the diagnosis here? Ankuriti retrocaval ureter. No, Uma Maheshwari duplication of ureter. Very good, it is duplication. Now tell me, on the right side, it is complete duplication or incomplete duplication? First tell me, on right side. Right side complete duplication or incomplete duplication? Right side Sandeep, very good. Sneje, very good. Palj, first person to reply correctly, Palj. Right side, it is complete or incomplete. Mohsin Baba, you are correct. Utkar Sengar, you are correct. You can see what? This is one ureter, upper pole ureter. This is lower pole ureter. Both of these are going to join here. Clear? So these are going to join before draining into bladder. This is incomplete. Now tell me, on left side, it is complete duplication or incomplete? See the arrow, this one. I am giving you the hint also. You can see the arrow. Now tell me. See the arrow and tell me this is complete duplication or incomplete duplication. Yes, complete. Very good. Can you see near arrow? Can you see the two lumens? There are two ureters. In this you can see there are two ureters. So this is complete. This was the need PG question. Clear? So on right side incomplete, on left side complete duplication. Can you tell me what is the diagnosis here? Image based question asked in need PG. What is the diagnosis here? Tell me guys. Diagnosis. <coughs> Iman Lari. Very good. Polycystic kidney disease. ADPKD. ADPKD. Very good. Now tell me what are the two, two chromosomes involved in ADPKD? Chromosomes involved. Elsa, Meet Patel, tell me, what are the chromosomes involved? Sixteen and four. Sat Swatantra Varma, Medha Jain, sixteen and four. This is sixteen and four. Very good. Very good. Now tell me what is the diagnosis? This is X ray. On this X ray, what is the diagnosis? Tell me, guys. It's a repeat question. It was asked in need PG. What is the diagnosis here? Very good. PU, P, Dr. PU, you are correct. All of you are correct. This is large bladder stone. You can see the radio opaque shadow in the pelvis. This is large bladder stone. Very good. Now tell me what is the diagnosis. Again, a repeat question. What is the diagnosis? Priya Raj was saying carcinoma uterus. Very bad, Priya. Very bad. That was clear cut case of bladder stone. Carcinoma uterus is not visualized on x-ray. Very bad. Extra fee bladder. All of you are correct. This is extra fee. Ectopia vesaiki or extra fee bladder. Extra fee bladder. Also known as ectopia vesaiki. Very good guys. This is ectopia vesaiki. Very good. Next, tell me what is the diagnosis? This is one. This is two. First you tell me what is the diagnosis in first image? First one. What is the diagnosis in first one? Tell me, guys. <coughs> Bibin, Bibin, very good, Bibin. It is phimosis. Here you can see prepuce cannot be retracted over glands. Phimosis. And what is the diagnosis in second one? Obviously, second is paraphimosis. There is a ring of prepuce around the glands. This is paraphimosis. So, this is phimosis. This is paraphimosis. Paraphimosis. Clear? Now, tell me what is the diagnosis here? First, what is the name of this test? Guys, tell me what is the name of this test? Test. What is the name of this test? Hydrocele. Hydrocele. Medha, it is not varicocele. It is hydrocele. What is the name of this test? Trans illumination, Swatantra Varma Sandeep Sarkar, trans illumination. Now what, what kind of hydrocele is this? This is the test is, and in tunica vaginalis, there is collection of fluid. What kind of hydrocele is this? Tell me, type of hydrocele. Which type of hydrocele is this? Which type of hydrocele is this? Ashwarya, tell me. <clears throat> 
टाइप ऑफ हाइड्रोसील विच टाइप वेजाइनल मोहम्मद सुलेमान वेरी गुड वेजाइनल वेरी गुड नाउ सेकेंड प्राइमरी वेजाइनल हाइड्रोसिल और सेकेंडरी वेजाइनल हाइड्रोसिल इट इज प्राइमरी वेजाइनल हाइड्रोसिल बिकॉज इट इज लार्ज एंड टेंस दिस इज प्राइमरी वेजाइनल हाइड्रोसिल इट्स लार्ज एंड टेंस ओके टेल मी द डायग्नोसिस दिस पेशेंट वॉज हैविंग दिस फाइंडिंग आफ्टर सर्जरी दिस इज द फाइंडिंग वॉट इज द डायग्नोसिस पाल्स टेल मी वॉट इज द डायग्नोसिस हियर फूनियस गैंग्रीन मीत पटेल बिबिन जॉली गर्ग मोहसिन बाबा पी यू ऑल ऑफ यूर करेक्ट फूनियस गैंग्रीन एंड इन फूनियस गैंग्रीन देर इज इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ स्किन सुपरफिशियल डी फेशिया सुपरफिशियल फेशिया डी फेशिया टेस्टिस इट इज स्पेयर्ड कॉर्ड स्ट्रक्चर स्पेयर्ड कार्पोरा कैवरनोसा स्पॉन्जियोसा स्पेयर्ड क्लियर दिस इज फूनियस गैंग्रीन दिस इज फूनियस गैंग्रीन ओके गाइस नेक्स्ट टेल मी हियर दिस इज टेंशन निमोथोरैक्स हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई टेंशन निमोथोरैक्स हियर यू कैन सी देर इज कोलैप्स्ड इप्सी लैटर लंग डिप्रेस डायफ्राम एंड शिफ्ट ऑफ मेडिस्टाइनम टू अपोजिट साइड कोलैप्स लंग डिप्रेस डायफ्राम शिफ्ट ऑफ मेडिस्टाइनम टू अपोजिट साइड नाउ द क्वेश्चन टेल मी इन विच इंटरकॉस्टल स्पेस इन एडल्ट वी हैव टू इंसर्ट द नीडल वाइड बोर नीडल शुड बी इंसर्टेड इन विच इंटरकॉस्टल स्पेस इन एडल्ट वेटिंग फॉर रिप्लाई बिबिन चिन्नायन फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रिप्लाई फिफ्थ इंटरकॉस्टल स्पेस वेरी गुड एंड इन चिल्ड्रेन विच इंटरकॉस्टल स्पेस इन चिल्ड्रेन वेरी गुड ऑल ऑफ यूर करेक्ट सेकेंड इंटरकॉस्टल स्पेस इन चिल्ड्रेन इन मिड क्लेविकुलर लाइन इन एडल्ट इन एंटीरियर एक्सिलरी लाइन एंड ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस इट इज आई सी डी इंसर्शन एंड आई सी डी इंसर्शन इट्स ऑल्सो डन इन फिफ्थ इंटरकॉस्टल स्पेस वेरी गुड गाइज दिस वन Tell me what's the diagnosis in the first one? First, tell me first. What's the diagnosis here? First one. <clears throat> Monica Bhaskaran, Palj, Ashma Khan. First, Megha Singh Chiller. Very good. First one is hypertrophic scar. You can see there is excessive scar tissue within, or it doesn't cross the incision or boundaries of. wound now you can tell me the second one is keloid obviously second question what is the most common site of keloid simple question guys tell me most common site of keloid most common site of keloid tell me let me see who is going to reply correctly asma tell me most common site of keloid keloid sternum angelina angeline saker sternum very good it is sternum this is sternum very good guys it is sternum next tell me what's the name of this instrument <coughs> name of this instrument what is the name of this instrument yes dr roy humby's knife all of you are correct it's humby's knife what is the function what's the use of humby knife <coughs> what is the use of humby knife tell me humby knife what is the use <coughs> medha jain skin grafting it is used to harvest skin grafting very good harvesting skin grafting this is angular dermoid can you see angular dermoid tell me what is the treatment of choice very good guys what is the treatment of choice of angular dermoid angular dermoid what is the treatment of choice waiting for your reply mohsin baba correct surgical excision it is surgical excision this is surgical excision angular dermoid treatment of choice tell me this is first this is second what is the diagnosis in first one <coughs> diagnosis in first one tell me guys i am telling you minimum we are expecting five images from this session <coughs> five images we are expecting tell me diagnosis of first one first is edh second is sdh very good <coughs> now this edh it is caused by injury of which vessel edh it is caused by injury of which vessel very good swasatvik asma khan barad 
EDH caused by injury of middle meningeal artery. Bibin, Bibin, you are correct. Middle meningeal artery. And SDH, it is caused by injury of which? Which vessel? SDH, it is caused by injury of? Dr. XY, you are correct. Yes, bridging veins. Let me see. Medha Jain, cortical veins or bridging veins. Now you tell me, cortical veins or bridging veins. You tell me, lucid interval, it is positive in which one? EDH or SDH? Lucid interval. Tell me guys. Lucid interval, it is positive in EDH or SDH? Lucid interval. I am sure all of you must be knowing. EDH, Uma Maheshwari. EDH, EDH, all of you are correct. EDH, very good. Now, leukoplakia, you can see whitish patch, which cannot be rubbed off. Reddish plaque, here you can see reddish plaque, erythroplakia. And you can see whitish patch intermingled with reddish plaque, speckled erythroplakia. So, one simple question, out of these three, which one is having maximum risk of malignancy? Question to all of you, which of the following is having maximum risk of malignancy? Tell me guys. Speckled, Uma Maheswari, you are correct. Speckled, speckled erythroplakia. This is having maximum risk of malignancy. Now, second question, which of the following is having least risk of malignancy? Minimum, <clears throat> minimum risk of malignancy. Tell me guys, minimum risk of malignancy. First one, leukoplakia. Here, there is minimum risk. Minimum risk of malignancy. It is seen in leukoplakia. Very good. Very good. All of you are correct. Next, what is the diagnosis here? Tell me. See the image and tell me what is the diagnosis here. Look at this and tell me the diagnosis. <coughs> Ranula. Very good. Jolly Gurg. Ranula. So, ranula, it is in relation to which gland? Parotid gland, submandibular gland, sublingual gland. It is mucus extravagation cyst in relation to which gland? Which gland? Sublingual, medha jain, you are correct. It is in relation to sublingual gland. So, this is ranula. Why? It is having bluish appearance like frog's belly. That's why the name is ranula. <coughs> Cystic hygroma, you can see here, this is cystic hygroma, tell me what is the most common site of cystic hygroma, tell me guys, most common site, Amon Lahari, what is the treatment of ranula, the treatment of ranula, it is marsupialization, what, we, what is the treatment, it is marsupialization, what is marsupialization, see, we give incision over the ranula and after that we are going to suture the margins around. So, this is marsupialization and after that, if recurrence is there, we go for excision. Okay, next. What is the most common site of, most common site of cystic hygroma, posterior triangle of neck? Ashwarya Yadav, you are correct. Very good. It is posterior triangle of neck. Posterior triangle. Next, tell me what is the name of this suture? Name of this suture. Swatantra Verma, very good investigation of choice for cystic hygroma MRI. Cat gut, all of you are correct. Cat gut, very good. Cat gut, not chromic cat gut. This is cat gut, plain cat gut. Tell me, what is the preservative used for cat gut? Preservative used for cat gut. Preservative used for cat gut. It is cat gut, guys. Cat gut. Preservative used for cat gut. Alcohol. Which alcohol? Madhu Sharkar. Swatantra Verma. You are correct. It is isopropyl alcohol. This is isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. After that, what is the name of the suture? This is Vicryl. What is the other name of Vicryl? Other name of Vicryl. Lucid interval SDH mein nahi hota. In SDH, no lucid interval, only in EDH. This is polyglactin. Another question, tell me, Vicryl, it is absorbed in how many days? Vicryl is absorbed in how many days? Tell me guys. 
it is absorbed in how many days it is absorbed in how many days no no it is not 60 it is not 60 it is 60 to 90 days 60 to 90 days it is absorbed in 60 to 90 days these are the images which are asked frequently we are expecting minimum five images let me tell you other questions which are expected yes in this exam first bishop score we are expecting a question on bishop score we are expecting q so far we are expecting sirs systemic inflammatory response syndrome we are expecting meld score peld score model for end stage liver disease pediatric end stage liver disease then a sepsis score a sepsis score these are the scores we are expecting in the exam apart from these image based questions okay so it was nice lecture with you guys i enjoyed most of you were marking the correct answer good luck uh, some of the students were asking that sir if we are confused between two options we should attempt that question or not mark the uh, option if you are confused between two you have to choose one option clear that will be beneficial for you okay so don't lose hope just keep studying keep working hard keep revising definitely you are going to crack this exam good luck guys good luck Stop.